literature that comes with the film that's not available elsewhere, um, written by the um, survivalist and martial law expert David Black. So those are the people that are in the film, Alex. Uh, it's, it's just incredible. And uh, again, folks, uh, I suggest you watch this in a 10-day period, an hour a night, write notes, think about it. That's what I've been doing. Get the uh, nine DVDs and the extra bonus DVD all together in one package at thefallofamerica.net. And I want to give people that toll-free number one more time in case they missed it, 800-655-1577, 800-655-1577. Because the last time you were on, Brian, I got calls later at the office saying, no, where's the number? I missed it. I you know, I want to get this uh, documentary. The system, though, is scared. That's why they're engaged in a power grab. That's why they openly want to take over the Internet. That's why they openly want to shut down what we're doing, because what the globalists are engaged in is so outrageously unconstitutional and is so illegal on its face that if we just speak up and say no to them, they're going to collapse. Uh, guys, what's your view on that? Instead of us collapsing, let's use the collapse to bring them down. That's absolutely right. Um but to do that, we have to be secure in our persons and effects. We cannot get out there and help them to self-implode if we're hungry. You can't do it if your child's at home freezing or is perspiring because you can't turn on the air or is sick or has the flu or if someone's trying to loot your house. Uh, we can absolutely use this opportunity, Alex, to um, to help them sort of kill off themselves with this implosion. But we have to be secure first. Well, I couldn't agree with you more. And the good news is we've seen 18 million plus guns sold in the last year and a half. That's doubling the previous record. And that's only accelerating. And so the real lace in the hole is the fact that the American people are so armed. That doesn't mean we're out looking for an armed revolution or looking for a shootout with thugs or looters. But you look at the states where people have more guns, they have lower crime because the criminals know they're not safe. That's why they all moved to Chicago or New York where the victims have been disarmed, where it's happy hunting. And so the film gets into self-defense and a lot more. Uh, Again, I want to go back with both of you about your journey. You set out to make a film about the post-9-11 America and how things had changed. And you, I mean, what was it like for you as you talked to all these experts, many of them did, you know, which didn't even know each other, and they were telling you basically the same thing? Well, Alex, if I may, that was what was most intriguing about this um, was that you have people from all, all across the spectrum, left, right, you know, conservative, liberal, secular, religious, and for everything they disagreed on, what was fascinating, and I think what makes our the fall of America and the Western world series so powerful, is the common ground they share, and which makes it really hard for people like to dismiss. Like my father, he's a Republican, you know, voted for George Bush, the whole thing. Now, there are people in that film he would normally dismiss as conspiracy theorists or liberals or whatever, but he'll watch the film because Paul Craig Roberts, the father of Reaganomics, is in it. And then that exposes him to other voices and other perspectives. So that was what we were we were finding this common ground, and we said, okay, wait a minute. Even though these people are vastly, vastly different, in some ways there's so much overlap. They're all saying the same thing, and it can't be dismissed as a liberal thing or a conservative thing or a you know a conspiracy thing. What effect has the film had on your family? Some of them that uh, might have been scoffing at you earlier. Well, you know, they were scoffing at us when we were making the film. Uh, you know, again, saying, oh. it's, it's gloom and doomer and everything's fine and that's conspiracy and it can't happen here and all that stuff. But through the process of making the film, slowly but surely, things that we told them were going to come about, like gold going from $700 an ounce to $1,200 an ounce, like, you know, the mortgage crisis, uh, the subprime, you know, explosion, uh, bank collapse, things that I talked about that we had written into this film that people thought were impossible were unfolding before their eyes. And so that gave us a lot more credibility. Well, that's what's happened with my broadcast, is that I'm just going off the history, the research, the issues, the facts. It doesn't mean I'm 100% right, but overall, we've been going in the exact direction uh, of society and, and, and predicting it long before. And so now I've got to contend 
with the fact that people really do listen to what I say, and I've tried to bring the quality of my information, it's always been good, to an even higher level because of the responsibility of the effect that I have and that my listeners have uh, with this information in my films. Uh, but uh, one thing that, you know, seeing this collapse coming and now entering the first stages of it has done is it's helped me realize and focus on what's really important in my life. You know, petty issues, and I've never been a very worldly person, but, you know, still worldly to a certain extent. I'm a lot less worldly than I was even five years ago or even a year ago or a month ago. It's really a, 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 a focusing uh, of the soul, of the psyche, of the mind, especially when you have children, to realize if you've studied history just how dangerous things can get and to know that we are going there, uh, it's incredible. You know, Alex, you bring up a good point. Um on my own personal journey to get my own house in order, because prior to starting this, I, I said something was wrong, like I think most of your listeners, but I didn't know what was wrong, and I didn't know what to do about it once I, um, you know, defined it. But I got to say, since I've been on this journey of getting my own house in order, you know, I'm starting to feel better about myself as a spiritual being having a human experience. I mean, I feel better about... Because I Stay feel there. This is key. This is key. So you think the massive Gulf oil leak won't affect the air you breathe? Think again. Benzene, a toxic gas emitted from crude oil and a known carcinogen, is now airborne traveling hundreds, even thousands of miles inland. Whether you live near the Gulf or not, benzene and other volatile organic compounds could cause adverse reactions to those living inside your home. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, came to airfiltersandpurifiers.com for answers on how to clean the air on boats aiding in the Gulf cleanup. Do what Noah did. Contact airfiltersandpurifiers.com and ask about the HealthMate Plus. The HealthMate Plus is capable of trapping 99.97% of all polluting particulates. Buy the HealthMate Plus today with no tax, free shipping, a five-year warranty, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to airfiltersandpurifiers.com. GCN listeners get a 5% discount by using promo code GCN. Call 800-499-2418 or go to airfiltersandpurifiers.com. Your trusted advisor for clean air. Here on the is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Here's a question. If you have a septic system, did you know that proper maintenance can save you thousands of dollars in costly and unnecessary repairs? The answer is simple. Use septic system injector treatments made specifically for your home or business, available only at SimpleSepticSolutions.com. Made in the U.S., guaranteed to reduce sludge and odor by continuously cleaning your septic system, drain pipes, and leach field, this non-hazardous patented injector system contains billions of natural active bacteria and enzymes proven to digest household waste. With every flush, millions of enzyme active bacteria flow through your system, breaking down organic waste. Only Simple Septic Solutions natural eco-friendly products keep your septic system unclogged and free-flowing. Claims other products can't make. Installation is simple and lasts for four full months. Visit SimpleSepticSolutions.com. That's SimpleSepticSolutions.com. Or call 508-759-0010. That's 508-759-0010. Before you slip. Ryan Kraft and Robert DiNazio are our guests. We've got about five minutes left uh, with them. He just really hit on the point. People talk about how they feel empty. They don't feel empowered by sex, by money, by earthly power. But they always feel empowered in history when they're helping poor children or helping the sick or risking their lives to run into a burning building to help others. People 
are instinctively aware of the fact that much of the world they see is a false reality. It's disinformation, it's propaganda, it's lies. And when you start tuning into the real world and realizing that the solution is facing just how bad things are so you can protect all the good things that are in the world, it is an enlightenment that happens. It is an acceleration of understanding. And you begin to really tune into the secrets of the world and creation, the mysteries of the world. And I think that's what, uh, Brian, is that what you were starting to get into? That's exactly where I'm going. Um, many of us realize that this isn't any way to live at all. This isn't fun. Life doesn't have to be, you know, neurotic and paranoid, and we don't have to be so angry. And there's something very wrong with the way in which we've been forced into unconsciousness, as Jim Morrison says. <laughs> you know, we are... Unconscious. But when we wake up, as scary as it is, as scary as it is to wake up and embrace the moment of now and start the